In this video, we will see how do we use the discriminant and the sign diagram to solve some of the problems of quadratic equation. So before beginning, let us just quickly revise how do we determine the nature of roots using the discriminant. We have already done this. In if we have a quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is the general form of a quadratic equation. Okay, so the solution of the quadratic equation which are the values of x is given by the quadratic formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay, and this b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant. <coughs> and it is represented by a d or a delta. So, when delta is greater than 0, your equation will have two real and distinct roots. Okay, when your delta is equal to 0, you have two real and repeated roots. And when delta becomes less than 0, there will be a negative inside the radical sign. So, we will have no solution, no real roots. So, these are the two cases which gives us real root. So, delta has to be greater than or equal to 0 to have real roots. Okay, now let us solve an example. The question says that the equation given is kx square plus k plus 3 into x is equal to 1. We have to find the discriminant of the above equation and we have to draw a sign diagram and we have to find the value of k for which the equation has two distinct real roots, no real roots, repeated root and two real roots. So the first thing asked is to find the discriminant and to find the discriminant we have to bring the equation in the standard form. So in the standard form <coughs> all the terms of the equation are on the left hand side. So let us move one on the left hand side. Let us compare this equation with the standard equation and comparing we get a is equal to k b is nothing but k plus 3 and c is negative 1 <clears throat> and we know the discriminant delta is b square minus 4ac so b square means k plus 3 whole square minus 4 into k into c is negative 1 so we got delta k plus 3 whole square minus 4 a c which gives k plus 3 whole square plus 4 k. Let us expand the bracket a plus b whole square is a square plus 2 times a b plus b square. So this will be k square plus 2 times 3 into k which gives you a 6k plus 3 square 9 plus 4k plus 10k plus 9. Let us factorize this because we need the value of k. So we will be factorizing this quadratic equation in terms of k. Let us see if we can split the middle term. We can split 10k as k 1k plus 9k. Let us combine the first two terms which gives us k into bracket k plus 1 plus 9 into bracket k plus 1 which gives us k plus 1 into k plus 9. I have explained factorization in details in my previous videos. So we have got our delta as k plus 1 into k plus 9. 
now we have to find draw the sign diagram and we have to find out for what value of k will our equation have real roots no real roots equal and real roots and distinct and real roots so for this let us first draw a sign diagram okay before drawing the sign diagram what we do is we equate delta to 0 this will give us our boundary points okay so when we equate our delta to 0 what do we get we get k plus 1 into k plus 9 equal to 0 from here we get either k plus 1 is 0 or k plus 9 is 0 plus 1 is 0 k becomes negative 1 and from here k becomes negative 9 so these are our two boundary points now we'll be drawing a sign diagram for it we have got k as minus 1 and minus 9 draw number line this is our origin minus 1 lies somewhere here and minus 9 will be further left of minus 1 so these two points minus 1 and 9 have divided our number line into three parts this much is our first part this is our second part and this remaining and so on is our third part okay we have to choose one value each from each of the three parts and we have to see what is the sign of our discriminant okay let us write let me write the discriminant again the discriminant was delta is equal to k plus 1 into k plus 9 now i'll be taking a value from part 1 say i take k as negative 10 because all the values to the left of negative 9 will be lesser than negative 9 when i put k as negative 10 we get delta as negative 10 plus 1 into negative 10 plus 9 this gives us a negative answer and this also gives us a negative answer so negative into negative makes it a positive take the value of k from second part okay so this was the first part now value of k from second part so we need a value which lies between minus 1 and minus 9 suppose i take k as minus 5 so delta will be k plus 1 so negative 5 plus 1 k plus 9 so negative 5 plus 9 so we get a negative here and we get a positive here when we multiply a negative number with a positive number we get so value of k from the third part i can take k as 0 correct let me just rub the zero here. So I can take k as zero and k is zero. Delta will be equal to zero plus one into zero plus nine. The first factor is positive, and the second bracket also gives us a positive, and positive into positive gives us a positive. And we know whenever delta is positive, positive means greater than zero. In that case, we have real and distinct roots when delta is negative we have no real roots and when delta is zero we have two real and repeated roots so this means that for these points minus 9 and minus 1 we have got delta is zero here delta is positive delta is negative and delta is positive an equation has two real and distinct roots when delta is greater than zero 
and when is our delta greater than zero? Let me draw the number line again here. We had minus nine, we had minus one. We said we are getting a positive delta here, a negative delta here, and a positive here. And for these two values, we were getting delta as zero. So when delta is greater than zero, this means that the value of k is less than negative nine, or k is greater than negative one. In both of these cases, our delta is greater than zero, and we have two real and distinct roots. When delta becomes zero, when does delta become zero? When k is minus nine or minus one. So for k minus nine and minus one, we have got two real and repeated roots. I hope this much is clear to everyone. And when delta is greater than also and equal to zero also, when does this happen? When k is either less than or equal to negative nine, or k is greater than or equal to negative one. In these cases, we have two real roots. We are just telling that the roots are real. We are not differentiating whether they are distinct or repeated. And delta becomes less than zero when k lies between minus nine and minus one. So for this range of values of k, you have no real solution. I hope this question is clear to everyone. If you have any doubts regarding this type of questions, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.